Saying I don't know is powerful. Saying I can't is powerful. We often think about confident people as being fearless, as they know it all. They are Wonder Woman or Wonder Man. No, they are not. This video is all about insecurities. What can you do about insecurities? Insecurities that we all deal with. We see it as a weakness, but is it really? What can you do with your, with your insecurities? What are high performances and, and, and geniuses and superstars? What are they doing with their insecurities? That is what this video is all about. It's super powerful. It's super short. It's super practical and easy to do if you want to grow your confidence. If you don't know me, I am Rachel Smets and I have quit my corporate a few years ago to do what I love. And now I'm helping ambitious people who want to become an entrepreneur, but more so who want to transition and be able to take the leap. I always say, do not take the leap of faith, make a plan, take the steps and do it right. And so I help you with the mindset, with the confidence, with taking the steps to be your own boss. And stop working for a boss. That's the one thing I really hated when I was working for corporate. But anyway, today is all about growing your confidence and what are geniuses, what are high performance people, what are superstars, what are they doing with insecurities? They all share this. They all have this thing in common. And I'm going to explain what I mean with insecurities. It's like, you know, when you're in a meeting sometimes and you don't really know what it's about, you don't really understand anything, but you're too afraid to ask a question because you're like, they're going to say I'm stupid. They're going to think I'm stupid and, and, and I should be understanding this, but I actually don't, but I'm not going to reveal that. I'm, go I'm not going to say, I don't know. I'm not going to say, I don't understand. Right. That's what less confident people do. Or when you go to a networking event and you don't know anybody and you're like, Ooh, you know, I'm just going to sit back quietly and just be by myself. Right. That's what less confident people do. But what is the one thing? What's the one thing that confident people do that superstars do that geniuses do that high performances do? What do they do? They share their insecurities. They share their insecurities. It is powerful. It is not a weakness. They will go to a networking event where they don't know anybody and they will say to the person next to them, like, Hey, you know what? I don't know anybody here and I feel kind of awkward. Could you introduce me to someone? Did you hear that? Like I'm admitting I'm feeling kind of awkward. Could you introduce me? I'm just sharing my, 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 my vulnerability. I'm just sharing my insecurity. They would speak up into a social meeting or another meeting or a group meeting or a team meeting and just say like, Hey, you know what? I don't really understand this here. Could you explain that? Or what is this really about? Look, confident people are not fearless. Confident people don't know it all. You should not correlate your confidence to the knowledge that you have. There's no correlation between, oh, I'm, I know more and I'm smarter and I'm more intelligent. So I am more confident. No, it's not about that. It's not about the correlation. It's just that sharing. I can't, I don't know that is powerful. Say I can't say, I don't know, ask a question, ask, you know, those, those big successful people, they work with mentors, they have coaches because they don't know all the answers, but they ask and they're not afraid to ask. Are they fearless? No. Do they know a lot and everything? No, they're not wonder woman. They're not wonder man, but they share their insecurity. The moment and this is so powerful because I realized when I was thinking about this, that the moment I felt more confident, the moment I was able to quit my job and speak up again, you know, to my boss and just hand in my resignation and just feel good with who I am was the moment that I was able to enter a bar alone or enter a lunchroom alone. And, and for so long, I was always like, oh, everybody's looking at me and I'm alone here. And what are they going to think about me? No. I'm here. I'm alone. I would go up to the owner or to somebody else like, Hey, I'm alone here. You know, what can you recommend? I would speak up at a, at a meeting and just say like, you know what? I don't really understand. I would have a conversation with someone which I totally didn't get. And I would just say it like, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I, I don't know anything about this topic and I'm just not following you. I'm okay with saying that I'm okay with sharing my weakness. If you want, it's not a weakness. It's an insecurity. It's an uncertainty. It's a not knowing everything. 
and I'm okay to share that. Come on, do you have to know it all? No. Do I need to know everything about everything? No, that's okay. You're human, I'm human. All these high performances are, are people are, are human, right? So it doesn't matter what layer you're at or what, what you know, level you're at, no matter who you are, no matter what background, nobody knows it all. Nobody's fearless. Nobody's Wonder Woman or Wonder Man, unless you believe in those science fiction movies and whatnot. So I think this, I hope this feels good to you to know that it's okay to share your insecurity. It's okay. And so what you know does not correlate with your confidence, but saying that I can't and sharing your insecurity and then trying to figure out that is confidence. Try to figure out and ask so that you can learn, so that you can figure things out and know more. All of that is confidence. Confidence is not knowing it all. Confidence is being willing to figure it out and admitting that you don't know it all. I hope this is helpful for you. And I want you to practice saying that sometimes. I can't, I don't know. Can you help me? Can you explain that to me? I want you to try that out, okay, as an action step for you. Make sure you don't miss any of my videos on a weekly basis. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that red button and that notification bell because I'm making all these videos to help you. If you want to know more about confidence, please, please, please check the link below to my confidence course, which is insanely popular. It's just thousands of students have enrolled in that. And it just, if you want to boost your confidence, if you want to grow your confidence, make sure to take a look at that course, which is taking you step-by-step -step, practical guide, a no brainer. And if you enroll, you have lifetime access. If you, um, yeah, so that's it for me. Make sure um, to see me again next week and comment below. I love reading your comments. Is this helpful? Are you going to try it? Let me know. Please share your comments below and I will be back in next week.